the tickets. Janet had got tickets. And when Janet had got tickets, it meant there was simply no escape. She was one of the most efficient bookers and makers of reservations. No sooner had Janet heard a play mentioned on the radio or read about a full comedy museum exhibition in the paper, that she got straight onto the phone to call the Redfern box office. Credit card details at the ready, and paper beside her, in order to jot down the reference number. By the time she put down the phone, Janet felt that a rifle order had been restored to the world. She fished out a diary from an eco-friendly canvas weave shopping bag, flicked through the months until she got to the correct day, and then she would write in the details of this new event in small, precise handwriting. The days were delineated in black ballpoint. Each one wrapped up like presents to be opened, and dotted at regular intervals through the year, in order to eke out maximum pleasure. It left her with a sense of calm satisfaction. She had done nothing. She had arranged an outing. Needless to say. Janet always booked two tickets. She convinced herself this was an altruistic gesture. She would bestow a treat on an appreciative friend. But if she was being really honest with her, it was more of a way of ensuring companionship. But Janet was not overburdened with friends to ask, so the tickets often went to nieces or nephews. Would slouch around galleries with her out of a barely concealed sense of duty. Sometimes the second ticket went to waste. Once she'd been forced into the undignified position of attempting to sell a ticket for a sold-out musical outside the theatre. She found herself surrounded by touts, each one in a large black puffer jacket and knitted hat, shouting out their wares. By market traders. You're right, love. One of them asked, spitting onto the pavement. Janet shrank back in disgust. It was an experience she never wished to repeat.